World Refugee Day is in June, and there are many events to highlight this celebration. The first thing for me was going to Washington, D.C. for the Afghan Adjustment Act Advocacy Days. And while there, I was able to meet with Senator Kelly and talk about not only my friend Zach's story, but also the story of other Afghan allies who need help from Washington, D.C. From my meeting with Senator Kelly, there was definitely a good result, which came later in the month. The second event was a book reading where I was invited to Changing Hands Bookstore, and I was able to read parts of my book and also talk about the Afghan Adjustment Act. What was once strange and sparse had now become a fully functioning town, complete with mosques, entertainment, shawarma shacks, and even a morgue. And I thought I might be there for two weeks building tents. I really had no idea what was going to happen. I was there for four months, and in that four months, I, with the IRC and um, pretty much every other organization imaginable, worked together to end process and resettle 11,340 of our Afghan allies. At the book reading, I was able to sell four books, and at the next event, I was able to sell more, and I was able to send all of that money to one of our Afghan friends who is um, currently still homeless in Sacramento. I did an interview video with him. You can check that out on my channel. Reporting live, <clears throat> live from Phoenix College. We're setting up for World Refugee Day celebration 2023. And as a result of my meeting with Senator Kelly, the asylum approval for Zach came in the mail just a few days after I got back from DC. And we got to celebrate together by going to an Eid event. Finally, we got to celebrate the 4th of July all together, along with Zach's friend who was detained at the southern border, and this is his first 4th of July in the United States. There have been many successes this month, but it was also very trying emotionally. I took a long time to put this video together actually because it was just so exhausting um, the month of June is always kind of emotional for the world refugee celebrations uh, because along with celebrations we all know that there's just so much more work to do it's almost endless um, but I appreciate you watching and I appreciate all the support thank you